Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Myself, Dr. Mehmuna Azir, by profession, I'm a physiotherapist and today I'm going to deliver a lecture on the subject of medical physics. As we have studied last time, Joule's law in the topic of thermal effects of current. So, uh, we are just going to get into a bit detail regarding the resistance. When there comes the resistance in uh, our Joule's law, what happens in there? So, first of all, we will revise law of conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy says that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be converted from one form to another form. So, in the process when thermal effect is produced from a current, energy is converted from one form to another form. And its formula was, we have already studied Q is equal to I square RT. Now, according to this, if we want to measure according to one calorie of heat, then we will get to know that one calorie of heat is produced by 4.2 joules of work. So, in this formula, what we will do regarding that heat generated is, heat generated is equal to I square RT over 4.2 and it will be calorie. So, we have got to know that what happens when calorie, one calorie of heat is going to be measured. Now, the main topic is what happens when we attach series resistance and parallel resistance in our circuit. So, first of all, we will learn about series and then parallel. We will have a good comparison in between both of them. Series resistance and parallel resistance is attached in our circuit. So basically we know that we have already studied in the topic of resistance that current remains same in series. While our EMF remains same in parallel. The thing which is given to us would be voltage. Voltage in this circuit is, if we say that voltage in this circuit is 90 and voltage in this circuit is 100. While resistance 1 is 10 and resistance 2 is 20. And the resistance is same even in this side. Now we will know that how much heat is generated by changing the pattern from series to parallel. Now we will, we, we will apply the formula. The formula was I square R T over 4.2 and here we will write heat generated. So we are going to apply this formula. Time is same in both of the quantities. Time is a factor which is same and constant in both of the quantities. But here current is same while here voltage is same. So we are going to apply this formula. For that we are going to measure current first. We know that the formula of current is I is equal to V over R. Voltage out here is 90. While resistance, for resistance we know that there is a formula equivalent resistance. Equivalent resistance mean Re is equal to R1 plus R2. And R1 is 10 while R2 is 20. So equivalent resistance is 30. Now here in this formula for measuring current we have 90 voltage while resistance is 30. And it will come 3 Ampere. Now putting it in, into a formula. Heat generated for resistance 1 and heat generated for resistance 2. Heat generated for resistance 1 would be, we will say that H1 I square R1 T over 4.2 while resistance 2 is H2 I square R2 T by 
12.2. So current is same in both of them. 3 square multiplied by resistance 1 is 10. Time is same divided by 4.2. And on the other side where we have heat generated for resistance 2, it would be 3 square multiplied by 20 T divided by 4.2. 3 threes are 9 multiplied 10 is 90 divided by 4.2 while 90 multiplied by 20 would be 180. So according to this, according to this formula, when there is series resistance, what will happen? The heat generated is produced would be higher in the resistance. Where there is resistance is higher. Resistance was higher in R2 while lower in R1. So it is being proved. While we will learn about parallel resistance, what will happen here? The same formula, but we know that here voltage is same, but current is not same. So what we will do? We will measure current again and again. For current, one, we will do that I1 is equal to V over R1. And for current 2, it would be I2 is equal to V over R2. So, I1, V over R1. V is 100, while R1 is 10. So, it will be converted into 10. Our I1 is 10. While I2, here it would be 100 divided by, our R2 is same. Just like it was in series resistance. So it is 20. It is going to be 5. So our I2 will get 5. Now we will apply these formula which we applied here and we will measure about heat generated. I square R1 T over 4.2 while H2 is equal to I square R1, uh, I1, I2 scale, R2, T over 4.2. I1 is 10 multiplied by R1 is 10 multiplied by T over 4.2. While I2 is 5 multiplied by resistance which is 20. It's here. 1000 T over 4.2 25 multiplied by 20. And it is 500 T over 4.2. So according to this formula, we are getting to know it clearly that the current, the heat generated in parallel resistance is higher in the resistance 1. When there is lower resistance in the parallel circuit, more amount of heat would be produced. When there is higher resistance in series circuit, the more amount of heat is produced. So this is how we can know about the thermal effects of current and how resistance affect these currents. Thank you so much.